everyone you're welcome back to my channel my name is Sienka so in today's class we're going to be making this beautiful and elegant and elegant dress for this dress we're going to be using five yards of Ankara or any material that you choose to use and I'm going to be using two yards of this lace I don't know if you're going to finish that but I got two yards and also you're going to be needing a machine lining so you're going to be lining it four yards of lining should do right so we need an interfacing as well as your zipper and thread all right then again i'm going to be using bias so let's get into it please kindly take a moment to subscribe to this channel if you have not subscribed and to the old subscriber you are welcome back so take the front seats and let's get into the tutorial we are going to be drafting the front part of our gown first and my fabric is already folded into two and as you can see i fused it with my interfacing it's already fused with my stay and it's folded into two this part here is unfold it's unfold and i'm drafting it on the lining when i'm done drafting it on the lining i'm going to be using the lining to cut out the main fabric so at first i'm going to be ruling my guideline after that i'm going to be taking all my vertical measurements first i'll measure the length of my armhole i'm using nine inches for my armhole my nipple points my under bust my waist length with half inch seam allowance then i will extend the lines This is my arm O length, my nipple point, under bust, my waist length with half inch seam allowance. So starting from this folded edge on my guideline, I'm going to input my shoulder measurements divided by two. My shoulder is distinct divided by two. That will be eight inches. So I'll measure eight inches and I'll rule it straight down to my arm O length. My arm O length is my chest line. I'm going to input three inches then I'll come to this point I'll come down by one inch then I'll connect it back to the three inches point so that I'll add half inch upward for my shoulder seam allowance what doing now is to input my neck width and also my neck depth I'm going to be using four inches for my neck width. So starting from this folded edge, I'll measure four inches inward this way. And then for my neck depth, I'm going to be using three inches. Then I'll connect the points together. So the neck area is done. So starting from this one inch point below the shoulder line, you measure to your chest line and you locate the midpoint. Then at the midpoint, you come in by half inch. Then you connect it back to the shoulder and use the curve part of your ruler to finish it to the chest line. What I'm going to be doing now, starting from this folded edge on my ham hole line, that is my chest line, I'm going to input my bust circumference measurements divided by 4. My bust is 40 divided by 4, that will be 10 inches. I'll measure 10 inches. I'll come to my waistline. I'm going to input my waist circumference measurement divided by 4. My waist, my waist circumference is 32. 32 divided by 4, that will be 8 inches. So I'll measure 8 inches. Then I'm going to connect the points together. Alright, so the next thing that we are going to be doing now is to input our dart. And for your dart, you come to your nipple point line. This is my nipple point line here. At this nipple point line, I'm going to input my nipple to nipple distance divided by 2. My nipple to nipple point is 8 inches divided by 2, that will be 4 inches. Then I'm going to be adding half inch to that, that will be 4 and a half inches. The half inch is your same allowance. So, I'll measure 4 and a half inches inward on my nipple point. Then I'll roll it down to the waistline. I'll measure two inches upward from your chest line. 
like this. So I'm going to connect it from the nipple point. I'll roll it straight to these two inches above my chest line. This way. Hope it's clear. So the next thing now is to input our dart intake. So I'll come to the under bust line. This is the under bust line. From this side of the line, I'll measure half inch towards this side. Half inch this way. Then I'm going to roll it straight down to the waistline. Then I will also connect it back to the nipple point line. Then I'll come to this side of the line. I'm going to take two inches that on my under bust line. I'm going to roll it down to the waistline. And I'm going to use the cuff part of my ruler this part here, I'm going to use this curve part of my ruler to connect it back to the nipple point line. I'll come to this two inches above this chest line point, this point here. I'm going to take half inch that towards this side, half, and then towards this side, I'm going to take one inch that. Then I'll connect it back to the nipple point. So first, I'll use this slight curve part of the ruler to connect it to the nipple point here, like this. Then I'll use this other side to connect it here. Can you see? Okay, so what we are going to be doing now is to input our yoke. Is to bring out our yoke curve, like getting the curve for our yoke. Don't forget, we still need to replace all this, our dart, and also input our seam allowance. So, but let's bring out the shape of our yoke first. So, what I'm going to do is, this, my line here, these two inches above the nipple point, I'm just going to rule it like this, towards the ham hole, this way, with a straight line. Can you see? Then, on my chest line here, I'm going, starting from this folded edge, I'm going to measure one and a half inch inward, this way. Then on my waistline, I'm going to input half inch like this. Then I'm going to connect with the curve part of my ruler, these two points together like this. Can you see? Like you this. can also do quarter inch on the waistline instead of half inch. If you don't want the yoke to be wide on the waistline like my own, you can do quarter inch or even less. Now also from this point with the slight curve of the ruler also, I'll blend it back like this like this so this is our yoke i'm going to highlight it with a blue shock so that we can be able to differentiate it so this part here from here, all around like this is my yoke all right so the next thing we are going to be doing now is to replace our dart intake and also to put our same allowance so at this chest line here at this point here you measure the distance of your dart here is one and a half but because we are still going to be joining it together i will add half inch to that that'll be two inches so i'll measure two inches like this can you see then i'm going to be rolling it straight this way then i'll come to this chest line this is the chest line the dart that passed through that point here is 0 0.75 inch i'm going to put it back from where your bust measurement stop here put it back this way then i'll come to the waistline i'll also replace my dart so the distance of my dart here is two and a half inch i'll put it back two and a half inch and then the next thing now is to input our seam allowances so on your chest line here you, you input your seam allowance I'm using two and a half as my seam allowance. So I'm going to connect these two points together now. So the next thing now is to finish our arm O area. So what you're going to do from this point, just really straight to the chest line like this. Can you see like this? Then use the cuff part of your ruler and place it this way and finish the arm O cuff like this. Before cutting it out, we need to come up here by one inch so that it can balance well with the back because we are going to be reducing the back length 
we're going to be reducing the back waist length by one inch so from here come up by one inch and you blend it back to your dart leg this is our dart leg here so blend it back this way so the next thing now is to cut it out but before cutting it out let me show you how it looks here So this is our yoke so i'll keep the yoke aside we are going to be cutting this yoke out on our lace fabric so this part here is our yoke so i'm just going to be placing my ankara fabric underneath this one so that i can cut everything together at once or if you like you can piece it and then use it to trace out the ankara Don't forget to notch your under bust. So this is my Ankara. I'm going to be cutting this, my yoke, on my lace. And I'm going to be adding seam allowance to this part of the yoke. I'm going to be folding my lace fabric into two. Then I'll place my yoke on top of it, this way. Then I'm going to cut it all around, but I'm going to add half inch all around this curved part this inner part of it i'm going to add half inch allowance all around it half inch so you add half inch to only this inner part of the yoke Every other place remain the same. You see this part here is on fold. The neckline remain the same. The shoulder remain the same. The armhole area remain the same. The only part you're going to have allowance to is just this inner part of it. And it's just half inch allowance. So I'm going to be cutting out wording for the front now. I folded this wording into four. It's into four folds. So I'm going to be placing the bodies on top of it like this here you just trace out the shape that you have here starting from the under bust this is the under bust then your wording will stop half inch before it gets to this upper part because you don't want it to enter into your allowance then for the second side you also trace out the shape also from the under bust trace out the shape The shape of the bust area like this then you stop half inch before if you notice i didn't allow the wording to get to the same allowance at the center front so i'm going to go ahead and i'll join the front panels together so i'm going to be joining these two together and also these two together then after that i'll do the same thing to the main fabric So 
The best thing is to nourish it. So you are going to repeat the same step to the main fabric. If after joining and this part is longer, you can blend it. But always ensure you start your joining from the waistline. So just blend it like this. Can you see the way I've done it? Alright, so the next thing now is just to notch it and then we'll iron the seam. So you need to go and iron your seam open. Just open it like this and iron it flat. So I've ironed, press open my seam. You can see the way it is. This is one side and then this is the second side. This is one side and this is the second side. And I've done the same thing to the lining as well. All right. So the next thing we're going to do now is to attach our yoke. This is our yoke. So you're going to be stitching this side and this side together can you see place it on top of it right side to right side and then you are going to make your stitch i'll join one side and this is it so we'll also join the second side So the next thing now is for you to turn it to the wrong side and then you are going to be using your lining to turn this part. Place your lining together and then you stitch it all around this way. You also do the same thing to this side. I'm going to notch so that the cuff can relax. So we have turned one side. I also turn the second side. Can you see the way I'm placing it? Place this one on top of it this way. And then you stitch. So I'm done and this is how it's looking from the wrong side. So but we still need to close this side. So to close this side, you just turn it this way. See the way I'm doing it? Flip it like this and match the right side to right side. And then you make your stitch. You stitch together with half inch allowance. So find your way to make sure you match the right, see this right side, match it together with the right side like this. So hold it and turn it this way. Can you see the way I've done it? Turn it this way. So that's it, the front is ready. now is to join the front and back together at the shoulder so place right side of the front together with the right side of the back this way and you are going to join the shoulders together with half inch allowance So we are done joining together and this is how it's looking.
this is how it's looking so the next thing now is to attach our sleeve to attach my sleeve all right so we are done attaching the sleeve the next thing you're going to do now is to finish the neckline with our bias Next thing now is to close the side. So turn your fabric to the wrong side. So starting from, you can see my zip allowance line here. Starting from my zip allowance, on my chest line, I'm going to input my bust circumference measurement divided by 4 minus half inch. My bust is 40, divided by 4, that will be 10, minus half, that will be 9.5. I'll measure 9.5 towards this side. Then on my waistline, I'm going to input my waist circumference measurement divided by, divided by 4. So the line is still here. I'll connect it together. You can also highlight your zipper allowance here. If you remember, we notch it. So you can highlight it and then you take the same measurement towards this side. 9.5 and then 8 inches. Then I'll take back to the sewing machine. I'm going to close the side following this my shocked line. I'm done joining the sides. So the next thing now is to attach the bottom part. The bottom part is just a flay. So just cut out your flay and then you attach it to it. Alright, so I didn't explain how I cut out the flay here because I don't want the video to be too long. But I believe with this little illustration, we should be able to cut out the flay. After attaching the bottom part, you're also going to be using lining to turn the waistline so that it can give the inside of your dress a perfect finishing. So you can see I'm done turning the waistline with the lining. So the next thing now is to, is to close the center back and then you're going to be attaching your zipper. You can put any down part of your choice. As you can see, I've attached flay to mine and I've also finish the inside you can see how it's looking from the good uh, this is how it's looking from the wrong side you can see the way it is so the next thing i'm going to do now is just to close the center back using my zip allowance i'll measure nine inches downward from my waistline then i'm going to close it with my zip allowance all the way down to the hem of the gown then after that i'll attach my zipper and then that's it your gown is ready I'm not afraid to